Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day yeah. this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. A basilisk lizard is uniquely equipped with the most wondrous means for capturing its game. The lizard's water walking seems to override the very laws of physics. A moment so surprising. To understand it, we need to unpack the critical steps that get this predator to its prey. It starts with the unique biomechanics within the lizard's legs and feet. Every time it slaps its wide webbed foot on the water, it turns something that's fluid into firm footing. When their foot plunges down, it creates a pocket of air and force for support that keeps the lizard from sinking. And there's another trick at work here, the sideways force. Each lizard leg is pushing slightly outward so, like riding a bike, each tilt to one side is corrected and counterbalanced. Of course, if you stop pedaling, you'll fall over. If the lizard stops running, it will sink into the water and have to swim the rest of the way. The lizard gets its meal. Just one small act of survival, but a hint of the internal engineering that allows species to tackle an environment and thrive. The Eiffel Tower remains one of France's tallest structures. It is over 320 meters, or about the length of three football fields. As you travel from ground level to the very top, you will see a number of triangular supports. Gustav Eiffel, the designer of the tower, was originally a bridge builder before he became the creator of the tower that bears his name. Many of the bridges that Eiffel built relied on a structural support called a truss. A truss is a triangular shaped support that allows a bridge to support heavy weight. Here's how a truss works. It should come as no surprise to you that the typical triangular truss is an isosceles triangle. What are the advantages to this type of triangle? Since the truss redirects and redistributes the weight of the load, then an isosceles truss will redistribute the force evenly. As an engineer, you would not want to overload one part of the bridge at the expense of another part. So the Eiffel Tower has many trusses throughout the structure. Austrian Emperor Franz Joseph had made a pact with Germany's Kaiser Wilhelm, forging an alliance which became the mighty Central Powers. Now, while Austria continues to battle Serbia on their battlefront, Germany comes to the defense of its ally and declares war on Russia. France, bordering dangerously next to Germany, is honor-bound by an alliance with Russia. So Germany declares war on France as well and begins an invasion through Belgium. But the Belgians fight back. The Kaiser's forces push through little Belgium and wedge into the French Republic, creating a battlefront in the West. Then Germany attacks Russia, forging another battlefront in the East. Allied with France, 
Great Britain and her whole empire, including Canada and Australia, declare war on the Central Powers.